Hey guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to the Kamado Joe Cooking Channel. This time of year, we've probably got a lot of leftover turkey, or we're going to have some leftover turkey between the Thanksgiving and Christmas holidays. So today, we're going to fire up the Kamado Joe Classic, and we're going to make a simple, quick, and easy turkey pot pie recipe that you can use to get rid of some of that leftover turkey. So let's get started. We're going to get started here. I have lit a fire in the center of the firebox here of my Kamado Joe Classic. I've got the divide and conquer flexible cooking rack in place and I'm going to put the heat deflectors in the low position and I'm going to put both halves of the grill grate in the upper position. We're going to set up here to cook somewhere between 375 and 400 degrees. And to do that, I'm going to start by leaving the bottom vent fully open. I'm going to leave the top slider fully open until we get up to about 300 degrees and then I'm going to start backing it down until we settle in between 375 and 400. Okay, I'm going to start out here with a skillet and I'm going to heat this to medium high heat and I'm going to put in about a tablespoon of olive oil and we'll let that get good and hot here for just a moment. As soon as that gets hot, I've got one medium onion that I've chopped and we're going to put this in here and we're going to saute that for three or four minutes. Okay, after we've been going about four minutes here, I'm going to add two cloves of minced garlic that I've uh, minced on my microplane grater. We're going to stir that in here just for a moment. And then I'm going to add a 16 ounce bag of frozen mixed vegetables to the mix. And we're going to stir that and cook this for about another 10 minutes or so. Okay, I'm sorry, I said 10 minutes. We're going to cook this for about one minute, which is just going to take a second. We're basically just going to knock the frost off of that frozen vegetable bag there. Then I'm going to add in three tablespoons of all-purpose flour, and I'm going to stir that in until it's completely combined. And then we're going to add in two cups of low-sodium chicken broth, and we're going to bring this to a simmer. Okay, this is starting to thicken up pretty nicely. We're getting pretty close to the 10 minute mark, so I'm going to shake in some salt to taste, and we're going to put in some fresh cracked black pepper to taste as well. You're going to want to taste this. We're going to stir it up here again in a minute and check on it, but I'm also going to add about an eighth of a teaspoon or so of cayenne pepper to this. That can be optional. Stir that in real good and give it a taste test and at this point we're going to turn the heat off. And after you get that salted and peppered like you like it, we're going to stir in a half a cup of whole milk. And then I've got a pound to a pound and a half of diced leftover turkey. Uh, and mine just happens to be all breast meat. so. I'm going to stir that in and get that mixed in here completely. And after I get that set in where I like it, I'm going to put in maybe a quarter of a teaspoon of dried thyme. And we're going to stir that in and get that mixed in as well. And after we've got all that combined and mixed up really well, we're just going to turn the heat completely off. And then we're going to set this aside for a moment. Okay, I've taken a 10 inch cast iron skillet. You can do this in a 10 inch skillet or a regular nine inch pie pan. The bottom crust is optional. You can decide whether or not you want a bottom crust or not. I always like bottom crust. So we're gonna take our turkey pot pie mixture and dump it into the pie crust. And we're gonna spread that around nice and evenly. And we're gonna let that sit for about five minutes. And after that's been sitting for about five minutes, I went ahead and put my top crust on there. And I'm going to take a knife and cut four slits in this so it can vent. And we'll take this bad boy to the grill. But first, before I take it to the grill, I'm just about to forget. I've got an egg wash here. I've taken two eggs and beat them and added about a tablespoon of water. So we're going to baste an egg wash across the top of this crust before we go to the grill. And now we can go to the grill. Hey right, guys, we've got our Joe cruising along right here at 400 degrees. So I'm going to open the lid. We're going to set this pie on here and we're going to let it cook probably for about somewhere between 20 and 30 minutes. And I'll set the timer and we'll be back to see you shortly. We've been going about 12 minutes here 
And since we're offset a little bit from the center, I'm going to reach in here and I'm going to give this thing a little turn the other direction. Then we'll close the lid back and let her finish cooking. Okay guys, we've been going about 25 minutes here and I'm pretty happy with the way this guy's looking. It's starting to bubble over a little bit. So I'm going to take it off the grill and set it aside and we're going to let it cool. Okay, I've let this cool just a little bit and we're going to dip some out and we're definitely going to have a taste throw down here in just a minute. Man, that looks delicious. Okay, let's see what she tastes like. Okay guys, let's have a bite of this and see what it tastes like. It sure does smell good. Mm. It's beautiful. The thyme really shines through. Even though we only put a little bit in there, that thyme, uh, dried thyme, is a beautiful herb to use in anything with poultry. So, guys want to give this a try. Uh, I might just call this the leftover pot pie rather than the turkey pot pie because you can use any kind of protein you've got just about. You could use chicken, you could use beef brisket, you could use pulled pork, uh, you could use shrimp. Uh, it's really a super way to get rid of leftover meat. So give it a try. Let me know what you think. Join us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Kamado Joe. Follow us on Twitter at Kamado Joe. And until next time, I'm John Setzler with the Kamado Joe Cooking Channel.